Okay, here we have a small Scott pump. This is a number 16 pump with a JM frame motor. Uh, the JM and the JP frame motors uses what's called a cartridge seal. Now, it is something you have to assemble yourself, but it's a little different than a regular seal kit in that you have to put the seal rotating head on the sleeve before you install it. I'm going to pull this one apart, and then I'm going to show you how to put that back together uh, with the seal kit. Okay, I've got my pump standing on end, and I've got most of the bolts loosened up, so this will go a little bit faster. There are four bolts holding the casing on through the motor bracket. Now, this is the motor bracket portion of the show, and here's the volute. There are four bolts holding those on. I think I've got them all out except for this one. And at that point, the volute will come off. And you will be at the impeller. The impeller is held on by an impeller bolt. It is just a standard thread. I have it loose already. Just pull that out. And the impeller is keyed to the shaft. They may not come off as quickly or as easily as this one. But there is an impeller bolt and a washer for the impeller bolt that goes on the front of the impeller. And then you are down to the seal kit. There is a centering washer. And this centering washer mates to the back of the impeller and then slips down over the shaft. There is a slot for the key. There's a key in the shaft of the motor. There is a spring that tensions the rotating head that will come off. Again, the impeller is keyed to the shaft. There is a key in the shaft that you'll need to take off. And then the seal kit or the seal rotating head and sleeve will come off as a unit. The right here is the stationary seat. Now below this, we're going to have to take this bracket off. Below it is what's called a water flinger and a little O-ring. When you buy a seal repair kit for a Scott pump, you will get a blister pack with the rotating head the stationary seat, the sleeve, a spring, a new centering washer for the top of the spring, that's inside this pack, an o-ring to keep the sleeve from leaking on the shaft, you'll get a water flinger, you'll get a new key, and a few other parts. There is also an o-ring in this one to put the casing back on. If the casing uses a paper type gasket, it will usually be in a separate pack on the back because you don't want to wad it up and put it in there. There's also a little bit of instructions stapled to the back, but I'm going to show you how to do it, so just hang with me here. Okay, here we are looking at the shaft end of a JM frame motor. Literally all the JM and JP frame motors do the same thing on all the Scott pumps. There are some variations in the componentry, but the process is really the same. The first thing that you're going to put on is the water flinger, which looks like a big, flat, stainless steel washer. One side is truly flat. One side kind of dips down into this, into the hole. You put the flat side up, and then you're going to put a sealing O-ring, and if on bigger motors it'll be a little bigger than this, onto the sleeve. Uh, onto the shaft of the motor. The next thing that's going to go on here is going to be the bracket, but I'm going to show you how this works first. The sleeve, which has the rotating head on it, goes down, and that O-ring is what seals the sleeve from leaking. You get the push of the impeller on that, that tightens it up and it keeps it from leaking. So be sure to put the flat side up toward the O-ring, so that that can receive the sleeve and you put the beveled side of the sleeve down on the o-ring. Okay, now we have the sleeve. We want to put the rotating head on the sleeve before we put it into the pump. So you have the beveled edge that goes down, you've got the flat side that goes up against the impeller, and you've got the rotating head of the seal. The rotating head goes in this direction the flat side of the sleeve up, the beveled side down, and that's what that's going to look like. You've got the carbon element that is facing down toward the beveled side. Now you need to lubricate this just a little bit. They do supply some lubrication in the, uh, in the seal kit, some little glycerin that is very good. 
the way you're going to do this, you're going to put that on there a little ways, put that in between your hands, and you're just going to work that through there. And then you want to pull this down on the sleeve to about there, a little farther than midway. Okay, we're back at the motor, and we're going to put the sleeve and rotating head aside for just a second. And we've got the flinger and the O-ring on the shaft. The reason you put the flinger on first, it will not fit through this hole. So it has to go on there first, and it has to go on there. So the next thing we put on is our motor bracket. And we put our bolts on that and tighten it up. Okay, we have the motor bracket that we have just put on. On the shaft of the motor is the flinger and the O-ring. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is put the stationary seat in. There's a few ways to push that in. I usually use my thumbs. There's different types of pushers. You have to lubricate that. Make sure it is all the way down. If you are repairing a pump instead of having a nice clean one like this, make sure that this area you're pushing into is clean. Take your nice sharp screwdriver, scrape everything out, blow it out, take a paper towel and clean it out. But that has to go down there nice, even, and flat. The next step is to put the sleeve with the rotating head on. We have the beveled edge that's going to go down onto the o-ring. Uh, we have the stationary, the rotating head, excuse me, about halfway down on the sleeve and plenty of lube on there. We're going to put that down. The rotating head will touch the stationary seat before the sleeve bottoms out. Then we're going to push the sleeve down. The reason we do that is we want the rotating head to stay in good contact with the stationary seat. If you try to position the rotating head first, you may be up just a little bit and it'll leak for a little bit. So this way you get a nice contact with it. After we get the sleeve and rotating head on and the sleeve pushed down, we put the key back in the slot of the motor. The next thing that goes on is the spring and the correct spring comes with the repair kit and then the proper centering washer that will come with the kit. You'll notice that this one, this impeller has a raised lip that holds that together. Some of them, this is different on some kits, but this is the one that is for this specific pump. Then we are going to put the impeller on. Next we will put the washer and the impeller bolt. I'm not going to tighten this up for you. I'm figuring you know how to do that. On this one we have an O-ring that we use for the casing gasket. Once you've tightened the impeller, put the casing back on, casing bolts back in, and you're good to go.